I have to say, I was a fan of the series when I first found out that I had the opportunity to even uh, uh, pitch for this, but I hadn't seen all the films. So I was kind of like, I enjoyed the first one, but then kind of over time sort of, you know, lost track of it or lost faith in the, in the franchise, and I hadn't seen the fourth one. Uh, so I was a fan, but I kind of like a lost fan, I guess you could say. When you're dealing with a film like a Final Destination film, there's a lot of technical aspects that you have to deal with. And it can get overwhelming if you get wrapped up in all of those aspects. So you have to have sort of a, a overall image or, or take on it so that you can concentrate on what's important each day but not lose track of the big picture. And so that was always the constant battle for me is to, to, keep, to make sure that I'm not missing any of the minor aspects that would then compromise the overall effect. If you're doing a, if you're doing a Final Destination movie, you have to obviously go to the roots of what makes the franchise work and cater to the fans and give them what they like, which is basically unexpected kills and the suspense leading up to the kills and give them some unanswered questions maybe of why this happened and what's going on. So I think, you know, that's a given. And then the question is, how do you accomplish that? Because you can have any way to kill a person, but if you come up with an interesting, uh, way of doing it that's unique and fun and refreshing and, and sort of nail-biting, uh, 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 you know, suspense, then I think you've succeeded. And that's the key, is to be, become, be fresh with these ideas and, and have a new take on it. Well, when we were producing this project in the early stages of uh, pre-production, we were going through the script trying to figure out how can we make these death sequences or the opening sequence a little more exciting or interesting. And uh, at first I came out, oh, how hard can it be to come up with a unique way to kill somebody? And then I started trying to work on it. And it's actually very difficult um, to do something that isn't a cliche or hasn't been done in the previous film. So we worked really hard and I actually came up with one of the deaths in the opening bridge sequence when the hot tar spills on David Koechner's character. That wasn't in the script. I just thought, hey, that you know, you've got construction. What do you have in construction? Well, sometimes you have tar and you're resurfacing. So then I just kind of went on that and I just said to somebody, well, remember that horrible smelly tar that you always, you know, drive by at some construction site or something? Imagine if that hit somebody and then burnt them. And so that was the genesis of that particular idea. But throughout the whole script and the whole shooting process, we constantly try to think, well, what can we do to make this interesting and unique? Well, the cast in FD5 was fantastic, and we worked really hard to find the right mix of people, and we didn't expect this, but they all grew to become really close friends throughout the whole filmmaking process, which was great because it just enhanced their characters and, you know, because they're supposed to be a bunch of co-workers that know each other, and the fact that they became so friendly during the filmmaking process, that shows in how their uh, performances were delivered, and uh, it was great, and uh, they, they had a wonderful time, and it was one of those things where we were trying really hard to ground it in reality and get you know some some story and structure to the cast that felt organic as opposed to some of the other Final Destination movies that maybe strayed a little too much in the sort of camp realm of comedy and instead we picked a couple of really funny actors who were actors first and foremost but had comedic talent to them and then that allowed us to get the comedy to be much more organic in this in this series. What was amazing is there were so many people wanting to be in the film. And so he was on, on the list amongst a, a number of people that had, were potentials for Agent Block. And I thought, well, Courtney Vance, I, I'm honored to even be considering to, that we didn't even get to have him. And it was, he was great to work with. I mean, fantastic. It was a lot of fun and, uh, and uh, it, was, it was just fun. Tony Todd was amazing. He, just his presence alone. I mean, the whole cast, it was a complete different vibe the day that Tony Todd was on the set. He was there for several days, and it was just great. It was a lot of fun. And when we did the scenes with him, you know, he had some ideas on what he thought during all the franchise. At the same time, he's like, you know, some of it's just a mystery. And, uh, and he played it very sort of laid back and restrained, and I thought it was just 
perfect with what uh, his character has in mind and, and, and the little uh, hints that he tells the cast of what's going on and what's causing this whole uh, uh, chain of uh, events to you know, unravel. Well, all of these sequences, you know, in Final Destination have these sometimes convoluted ways that people eventually get killed. And one of the sequences that I think is, is most effective is the gymnastic sequence where they're having a competition rehearsal that they're doing and, you know, various things happen throughout this sequence with a bunch of gymnasts uh, rehearsing and, you know, a, t uh, a screw falls down on a balance beam as somebody's doing their performance and their feet get right next to it and they're about hit it but they don't and they're going back and forth so you can milk the tension there. You have an air conditioner that's vibrating. You have um, weak, leaking water from that same air conditioner that there's got a frayed cord. You know, all these different aspects that are happening in parallel as the main action is going on, so the audience is trying to figure out, well, what is it that's going to cause the ultimate demise for this character? And then in the end, it turns out to be something completely different or a combination of these things that nobody thought of. And I thought that was very effective and worked really well.